Hello friend, today I have another TDI related service for you. This time we will be resealing leaking fuel injection pump. We will be using seals from this Bosch kit. We'll use this special socket for the anti-temper bolt and we will use vacuum to check for a fuel quantity after the job is finished. When you work on diesel injection in general, it's extremely important that you keep everything clean. I start with cleaning. In my case, the fuel is leaking from this area. There is a one seal. This is the top seal and this is the second one. So I'll be only removing the top cover and then this part, that quantity adjuster. Before removing the parts, I will use something sharp to make a marks for future alignment. One here and let's say the other one will be right here. I placed a lot of rags around the pump to catch the spills. First, I will remove this return fuel line. To remove the top part, there are three bolts with the tool is T30. The fourth bolt is that anti-temper bolt, which I was showing you that special tool for. Now I'm first time able to remove that top. And you see the gasket fell off automatically and the fuel ran out kind of a lot. So that's why we put all those racks there. Here is the detail with that top cover off. To have some play for this cable I will remove that bolt on that bracket down there and it's a Torx T25. I will continue with removing these three T30 bolts and I'm ready to move away the adjuster. And now we, we can see the gasket which we, which we are going to replace. It's right here. Now I'm ready to remove the second rubber gasket. Be careful. Make absolutely sure you will not scratch any surfaces. That it's extremely important. These two new gaskets are similar but not identical so just pay attention to the detail. This new gasket is sticking out a lot but don't worry about that. Now installing it back make sure this male part here fits in that female part on the plunger down there. The plunger is moving. This didn't move but this is moving so make sure that it fits inside. It's really important. I really had to grab the light and I'm looking that that male perfectly fits in that plunger. Super super important. At the same time make sure you don't pinch the new gasket anywhere. Now I'm on the way back so I'm starting putting these three bolts and before tightening these three first bolts I will try match the marks I scratched there previously. I will try to match them as perfectly as possible. And I'm going just hand tight those balls, bolts for right now. Now I have already the new gasket in this top cover. I made sure that everything, all the surfaces are perfectly clean. So I'm ready, carefully install that. I will start with these three bolts and continue with that anti temper bolt which goes all the way through the bottom. Now I can slowly evenly again by the hand install the top bolts 
and so far I'm leaving everything hand tied only. I don't want to forget that small bowl for that bracket here. So now everything is nicely together but something's missing. What's missing is the fuel in the injection pump. I'll be using my vacuum pump connected to that fuel return line which is down there and I will be drawing the fuel into the injection pump until it's full and I can see I have already the fuel in the pump this is all fuel so I'm ready to disconnect it and put that return line back in the place so everything is hooked together I can remove all my tools and all those racks from here I will use my brake cleaner to remove all that fuel which spilled on the parts underneath the pump I will use a very small power to fasten all those bolts and I'm ready to start up the vehicle I'm wondering how much cranking it will take And now we will see why we need the vacuum. And you see our injection quantity before was approximately around 3. So this is way too high and it's actually above 9 so it needs to be adjusted so I'm back at the vehicle and I will undo these bottom bolts I will slightly loosen them you can hear the change in the sound what I'm trying to do trying to tap the body this direction I will go and look on the vacuum. And after a little bit of tapping and watching the numbers, I got it nicely down to the 3.4, 3.6. So it's time to go and tie the bolts. After you tie the bo bolts, it changes a little bit, but it's still very nice between as you can see between 2.2 and 9 milligrams per stroke so I believe I'm satisfied with these numbers and I will uh, permanently tighten all the bolts let the engine run that it got really warm and I'm very happy with the results of this repair I have finally perfectly dry injection pump this is the area where it was leaking and now it's perfectly dry I don't smell the fuel anymore so I'm definitely happy with this this is perfect so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do so yet and stay tuned because more videos about the TDI engines and vehicles are coming very soon Thank you and have a nice day.